Hey everyone, it's been a busy week. Aside from Brexit, one of the big stories was the announcement that ISIS had been defeated, which is similar in concept, I guess, to when the shoplifters were de-handed on many an occasion. Defeated? De-handed? But the big story of the past week was the completion of the Mueller report, which revealed that, drumroll please, revealed that the past two years had largely been a complete waste of everyone's time. It makes Theresa May's two years in Brussels seem fairly productive in comparison. At least she achieved a goal of racking up enough airline points that she'll be able to upgrade to first class long after she's kicked out of Downing Street. The lack of any damning conclusions hasn't exactly gone down terribly well with President Trump's detractors, though. It's been a mix of glass half full, glass half empty, and glass smashed against the wall at the realisation that the president won, not because of a rigged election, but because Hillary Clinton was a profoundly unpopular candidate. The conclusion of the report's findings is a bit like when people lobbied for the sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird to be released by Harper Lee's publishers, and then the academic left went nuts when it turned out that Atticus Finch, the lead character from the first book, turned out to be quite racist in the second one. The whole investigation has been like the Hitler Diaries nonsense, or at that time they opened up Al Capone's vault, which turned out to have been empty the whole time. But anyway, here we are, two years after Miller was named to oversee the investigation into obstruction of justice, collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, plus pretty much anything else they wanted to, really. I wouldn't be surprised if the report contains a section determining whether the movie From Russia With Love is better or worse than the original Ian Fleming novel. All we know really is that President Trump, contrary to popular belief, was not scheming with the Kremlin. He was surrounded by scoundrels and his hangers-on were about as trustworthy as a Scottish football coach who assures fans that they'll win the World Cup this time around. For now though, I'd recommend pouring a glass of something and sitting back while the Democratic presidential candidates for 2020 tear themselves apart over the disconnect between the narratives and the facts. Pesky things those, aren't they? Facts. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clicks, subscribe.